Hey everybody, welcome to my review on Soma. So I actually played this game in 2018, uh, about six years ago now, and it still sticks with me as one of the best mindfuck horror games I've ever played. So I'm going to go through all of our different categories, and then I'm going to take about 40 seconds for each one of these so I can keep this video under five minutes. If you want to get an overview of what the actual storyline of Soma is, please go watch um, my videos in the playlist below. Or there's a bunch of different videos out there that kind of just review the entire storyline and the lore behind Soma. So our categories, of course, are gameplay, market, uh, no social because it's a single player game, narrative, graphics, technical value, and audio. I'm going to start off with narrative. So narrative is all about uh, you're this character, Simon, who gets into a car crash and is told he only has so long to live. So he finds a doctor that has a treatment for him that is basically, hey, we're going to download your consci consciousness into a data drive and then um, you'll be able to live forever. You know, of course, that's not how the doctor phrases it, but that's basically what happens. So he wakes up on Pathos 2, which is underwater, and figures out, oh my god, the Earth has been impacted by an asteroid, everybody up there is dead, and now there's this rogue AI that's after him called the WoW. The WoW is trying to take everybody's consciousness and put them into machines, and then everybody wakes up in a machine, they're like, what, if, what the fuck is this, blah blah blah, and they're angry and confused and they don't know what's going on, so they basically live out their days as a half-functioning machine. Now, the AI that we have, or the consciousness that we have, uh, guiding us, Catherine, she's actually a scientist that developed the ARC. So the ARC is a pod or a satellite that has a bunch of different human consciousness downloaded in it in a virtual world, and it can be shot off into the atmosphere, and basically everybody can live out their days on this virtual world that's powered by solar panels. And... Um, so that's the overarching narrative of the game is you're trying to get Simon to take his consciousness, put him on the arc and shoot that off into the atmosphere. Now, what you learn throughout the game is there's actually no downloading and transferring a consciousness. It is copying it. And then there's a 50 50 chance on if you wake up in the new body or you stay in your old body. So this happens a couple times throughout the game. There's actually four four total Simons that are in the game and at the very end your consciousness is stuck in the character that's at the bottom of the ocean by themselves and a copy of you is off on the arc in space so i mean the entire game is just one giant mind fuck like you think you know what's going on and then you don't which is why i gave narrative 10 out of 10. i mean there's no way i could have ever guessed what was going to happen in soma and i love the overarching plot of the game is like what does it mean to be human and uh i just feel like that is like like there's so many questions that you still want to ask that are never answered um and that's just something i love about it it makes you think that's why i absolutely gave narrative a 10 out of 10 gameplay i gave a 6 out of 10 just because there were um i don't think the controls were super intuitive it's kind of an older game um, I feel like if they released a new version, like an enhanced version, they could um, change up some of the controls, make everything a little bit cleaner, a little bit nicer. Um, and then you'd have, you know, pretty much a very smooth gameplay transition. The market of the game, I gave it a 7 out of 10 because I had heard about it for a really long time. I heard that, oh, it still lives up even though it's super old and it's like one of the best horror games ever. And it definitely was. Um... I would love if somehow they could make um, like make an enhanced version, just like I said, or where they update all the graphics and everything. And that's a great segue into the graphics and technical. Um, because the game is older and they haven't revamped it to new like Unreal, Unreal Engine 5, um, definitely lacking in the graphics a little bit. Still amazing for the time, but nowadays getting through it to, you know, playing it is just a little bit more wonky i guess because it's not exactly what you expect with the, the graphics that we have now technical i gave a five out of ten there were some bugs that i encountered some of the puzzles weren't super intuitive um i remember there's one where i walked around for like 20 minutes trying to figure out what the fuck i'm supposed to do and it's just like there's a wire on the ground and you just have to plug it into the console and there was like nothing indicating hey you should do that 
And I'm like, what the fuck am I supposed to do with this goddamn thing? It's not working. And then I'm like, oh, did you plug it in? You know, terrible, uh, terrible IT, you know, call and say, hey, this isn't working. Well, is it plugged in? It wasn't, and that one's on me. Uh, value, I gave a five out of 10. Um, I actually got this on a Steam sale for super cheap, but I don't think I would ever pay full price for it. Um, even if like full price was like 20, 20 bucks. I feel like $20 is still kind of steep for like a one-time playthrough on a horror game, even though it was a great game and I got it on a Steam sale, so I feel like the value is pretty good. But like I said, if they if they released an enhanced version with now with like new graphics, um, overall everything just kind of polished up, it would just be an immediate 10. Audio, I gave an 8 out of 10. I feel like the audio of the game was really, really good, especially for when it came out i mean there was definitely sounds and stuff like that that you could tell the developers just put a lot of time in getting that really eerie feeling to you and and just kind of like scaring you to the core where nothing's actually scary going on around you but just the sounds that are happening makes it makes it feel like something's gonna happen so my overall rating for soma is a seven and a half out of ten um, I love the game. I think it's great. I would love to play this on an enhanced version and just go through it again because it is six years later and I don't remember everything that happened. But this still sticks with me as one of the best horror games I've ever played. Uh, thanks for watching my review. If you want to see the entire um, playthrough, go ahead and click in my playlist and you'll find all those lined up. Thanks for coming. I'll see you on the next one.